Britain's elite weightlifters have descended on Coventry to test their explosive strength, speed, agility and coordination. We're here at the Rico Arena for the British Weightlifting Championships. It was Super Saturday at the impressive Rico Arena. A sellout crowd had plenty to cheer about in all categories. The applause soon echoed around the arena as the irrepressible Joanne Calvino took her 20th British Championship title in the women's 53kg category. <laughs> Joe, you've just claimed your 20th senior British weightlifting crown. How does it feel? Uh, it feels really good. Um, it's been a long journey. This year's probably been the hardest year so far, but um, yeah, I came here to win and just get number 20 because 19 is just an awkward number really. So yeah, pleased with today's results. What was the key to this latest success? Um, I think me and my coach, Keith Morgan, we just had a game plan of getting my lifts in and sticking to that. So. Again, the pressure wasn't really on me in a way. It was more on the junior girls trying to beat me, I think. So we just came in with our game plan and stuck to that and just focused on me because I can't really control anything anyone else does. So um, it gets a bit tactical, but yeah, we stuck to our plan. Do you find that the overall standard of the competition is rising year upon year? Yeah, I definitely think, I think girls um, have improved massively in this sport and women's weightlifting is really starting to get a little bit more recognition that it deserves um, definitely from when I first started lifting. So um, it's good that we've, we're in a healthy position with our women's weightlifting right now. Nura, did that go as well as planned? Um, considering the circumstances, I have only been back in training three weeks um, since I sprained my MCL. Uh, I, very, I think I was sort of like, take what I can get. So second place is, is a, good, it's a good start. How did you get involved with the Golden Champ scheme? So I was offered a, a place through the Olympic Development Squad, which is what I... I'm at right now and I took it so I was like well great three weeks three months sorry three months at Loughborough would be great hard training before the British Championships um, that's how I, I got offered it and so I took the chance it's really coming on this sport isn't it especially here at this uh, great venue it really is um, so this is my third British Championships um, it was at Rico last year um, it's obviously a great venue, but the crowd's been amazing this year. We didn't have this much of a turnout last year. Before that, it was in Bangor, still a decent venue, but not as big as this. So it's obviously coming along. Um, in the past three years, I've been able to compete at this competition. Back to the action, and the crowd were once again on their feet as the pride of Wales, Gareth Evans, broke the British snatch record. When you woke up this morning, did you ever think you'd break the record, the British record? Um, I've had it on my mind for a little while now. Um, I broke the clean and jerk record in Glasgow and the Commonwealth Games and the total record. Um, and today the snatch record and the total record again, so really, really happy. Sheila, sum up today for me. Sum up today. Today's been an amazing day. I finally won the British Senior Championships. Coming second two years in a row before that, so now this year I get to win, so I'm ecstatic. I'm really happy. Did you expect to win it? Yes. I knew this was my year. Why do you say that with such certainty? Because... I've literally been killing myself at the gym preparing for this. I haven't competed much this year, just for this moment.
perhaps a bit more of a showman than other competitors. Are you consciously trying to sex up the image of the sport? You you got to have fun when you're doing your sport. I think it's with weightlifting. It takes you only do two or three competitions a year. You spend hours and hours in the gym, and you forget actually why you do the sport. And it's to have fun and enjoy it. And that's something that I would like to do every time I compete. Is come away and say, you know what? Whatever happens, I had fun. I enjoyed it, and I put on a show. It's something I felt over the last two or three competitions that I've done. I haven't been myself. I haven't really, you know, had my showmanship and really enjoyed myself. But uh, I brought it back yesterday. I felt like myself on the platform and really had good fun. And yeah, I want to put on the show for the crowd because they've come all the way to watch us. Like, so. Just really looking forward to getting on the platform and just showing all the hard work that's been put in. Um, my two biggest competitors today are very good friends of mine, Emily Godley and Sarah Davis. So um, I know they've been training really hard. I train alongside them in Loughborough very often. So um, I know they're going to lift well today. Um, so yeah, I'm just hoping that I can put in the best performance possible and hopefully win. What better way to finish off Super Saturday with a mouth-watering finale in the women's 63 kg class. Golden girl Zoe Smith took on the rising stars of weightlifting in Sarah Davis and Emily Godley. <laughs> in the sport for three and a half years so every competition is more experience and more learning and every competition just come out you know more mentally prepared for it know a bit more what to expect and yeah ready to go overall what's the standard been like this year oh phenomenal especially in that 63 class yesterday like three of the best lifters in the country all in the same body weight category is something quite special and um, it's left the performance director with a bit of thinking to do because you can only take two lifters in each category to an international. So there's going to be a little bit of shifting around, I think, for future competitions. What's next in store for you? Um, October is the European under 23s. Um, those kind of weights that I did yesterday should get me a medal. So hopefully I get myself a European medal, which will be cool. I do hope so. Thank you. Thank you. So I've been around in the sport a long time, so I think people kind of expect me to be getting medals right now, but I'm still only 21. Um, come Tokyo, I'll be 26. So um, that's kind of getting towards like, the right kind of age for peaking strength-wise for um, middleweight women, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably be more towards my prime by then, so yeah. Don't forget, we'll have more top quality lifting from Super Sunday. That's available next week. This is Mark Stevenson signing off from the Rico Arena. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.